Hey guys, um, I just finished watching the first Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. of 2014. So, season 1, episode 10. Uh, I forget what the, the name of it's called, but it should be up there in the title. Um, now, this one definitely was pretty good. It was definitely good, like the continuation of the cliffhanger. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe uh, Stan Lee would have been in there, since I did see stuff online that he would be in there. But I guess it would be in a future episode, obviously. Or, you know, it would be too much to put him in there. I think it'd be too much of a make it too much of a big episode. They want to save something like that for, you know, a filler episode, obviously. Um but it'd be cool if they made it found they made him his episode, you know, kind of like a core episode, not a filler episode, but throw him in there in a big character type way. You know, I hopefully hopefully they can make his character or whoever he is could continue coming back, but that's a different topic. Um so this one was definitely cool. I didn't see the the other guy coming back at the end. Spoiler alert! I didn't see the, the guy coming back, um, and all that stuff with Agent Coulson. I'm still kind of a bit confused. Like, so did he die and they brought they they brought him back to life? Did they die and rebuild him? Is he an android? Is he um, a life model decoy? You know, is he? You know what I mean? They just has all the same memories of of um, uh, of Coulson. Did did they just you know? Take the mem, take Coulson's memory, and put him into a machine, and he thinks he is Coulson when really he's not. He's just a life model decoy, you know. That's what I'm really curious about. I don't, not entirely sure, uh, he which which which, which is really going on, but I kind of think I guess he they just brought him back to life. Um, so uh, that's definitely interesting to see, and maybe if he, they can bring him back to life, maybe how maybe that's how they. Uh, maybe that's how uh, Bucky Barnes will come back to life for Cap 2. Because if they connect this, you know, the way they bring Coulson back, and the way um, if Bucky died, and we don't know for sure if he died or not, but, you know, if he, they, they bring that together and connect those two, that would be awesome! Have it, the connection, the exact same stuff and stuff like that. We first figured it out on which is on Bucky Barnes and connect that. That would be awesome. That would just be mind-boggling. It'd be awesome. I'd love that. And another twist I saw that I thought of that might be um, that might be possible if the girl who was working on him I forget her name um, and the, the dark skin there who they they brought into custody um, she what if she is the cellist player you know and he just doesn't remember for some reason or she, for some reason uh, you know because I think there's a possibility or for that that that's that's who she is or something like that. And so she had a, you know, an identity change, a complete makeover to try and find out, find Coulson. Because like she said, she was crying for six, for, for, for two days, six days or something like that. So that would be different if for some reason, I don't know, he just didn't see it or for some, something like that. They completely wiped that part, like, a little bit out of his memory. Um, that would be something interesting to, to, to have. Uh, but definitely this episode was a great episode. I definitely recommend watching it. Um, I, I give it a, an, an 8 out of 10. You know, it was not a perfect episode, but it was a def still a good episode. Um, and there's some of the things were a little bit weird, like, it just, why, like, like, uh, the guy, the, 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 like, um, a Sky, she goes in and breaks into this guy's house. Well, she steals his car first. This guy is a billionaire. He doesn't have no bodyguards in his car. He doesn't have anyone. He has to drive his own car. He, has, he, has, he can pay for his own security system, which, his own security guards, actually, which they took forever to actually get to his place, but in the time that, like, after he pressed the button, um, you know, so, like, he has his own security guards for his house, but no, not his own driver, or anything like that, like, that, that that's just one thing, it just, it's just like, well, you know, he should, he would have, he would have a driver, he would, you know, especially if he can afford security guards, um, and like those security guards should have came there a lot faster, even if he, even even if he pressed the button. Um, I mean, they should have came in just for before anything, you know, just by like seeing her on the on the security footage. But whatever, um, you know, maybe he doesn't have any cameras because he's that type of person, you know, just doesn't want cameras. But still, it's just like, there's just things like that that was kind of like okay, you know, what about this? What about that? But still, we would love to see this, and hopefully, they can con continue co to connect it. Um, yeah, I definitely can't wait to see what else comes to see the trailer for uh, this, maybe hopefully next week's episode will have Stanley in it, crossing the fingers. Um, you know, you never know. 
uh, I don't know, I'm just hopefully something cool happens. And it was pretty, it was okay. Now I just feel like we're like, we're still on the same story, but we're kind of like, it was, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, now I can't wait for Arrow. Peace out.